next one today I'm going to show you how to scroll and connect pages in Figma so it's a really common thing everybody wants to learn and something used all the time so you need to go to the artboard uh, I've created two here one for vertical one for horizontal the vertical one here that you can see goes outside the page so you can't see all the components and that's what we want to do we want to be able to scroll down to the ones that are not visible in the phone so go to prototype on the top right hand and you can see you can't actually scroll yet and that's because people click the component and not the artboard you need to click the artboard to see the scroll. Now you click the artboard, go to the scrolling options and select vertical scrolling, if that's what you want to do. Here we want to do vertical scrolling. We're going to select that. Now we want to play that. So to play back the top right hand corner, uh, we want to select that. But you need to first go to the blue icon and put it at the start point that you want to start your artboard from. So we're going to start it from here. And so bring it there and click the play present button. When you do that, it should start to scroll vertically, let's see. So the iPhone, bring scroll down all the way to the bottom and you can see all the components that you couldn't see earlier and back up again. And that's how you scroll top to bottom vertically. Now also you might want to scroll horizontally. So here you can see there's components uh, from this design that are outside of the phone, outside of the page that you want to see once you scroll so that users can scroll horizontally as well. How do you do that? Again, click the artboard and go to scrolling and click horizontal scrolling and don't forget to find the present option, the blue icon and bring it from the old artboard to the new one. Once you've done that, you should be able to play and present it. So. Let's go to the play button at the top and we can present it. Once that loads, you can start to scroll left to right, all the way to the end and right to left. That's the way to scroll horizontally. Now we might want to connect the pages, which is another common feature that's used very often in Figma. How do we do that? Click on the artboard and then you can, a node will appear usually in the middle of the page. Click the node and connect the two pages with the arrow. Once you've done that, so now you click the artboard and connect the nodes. Once you've connected the nodes, you can select how you want to animate it. I would keep it a default. That's a standard setting that usually you'll see in your mobile phone um, or desktop connections between pages. So Keep it at ease out. If you want to change, you can try different ways, but I normally keep it at the default setting. It works quite well. So once you've connected that, you want to connect the pages back again. So the back button, you can connect that back to the original page. And again, keep it on the standard settings for now. You can always experiment with new ones. If you want to connect the component, you can click connect the component by clicking the component. And you usually see the node in the middle of the page. Click that node and connect it as well. So that way you can click from anywhere in the page or the component and that will go to the next page. Click the back button and you should be able to go back to the original page. Now let's see that working by presenting it. Move that icon back to the start. Play it and present. And let's see what happens. So you should be able to click anywhere on the page and that will go to the next page. Click and now click back by clicking the back button and you should be able to go back to the original page and that's how you connect two pages quite simply and really easy to use don't forget to subscribe and follow the whole channel on how to become a great UX designer thank you